and set off on my journey, filled with excitement and anticipation. As soon as I arrived in London, I was struck by the city's grandeur. The famous landmarks like Buckingham Palace and the London Eye were even more impressive in person. I was also. It was a dream come true when I finally decided to take a trip to London. I had always been fascinated by the city's rich history, culture, and its reputation as a global financial hub. I saved for months to make this trip happen. I packed my bags in, impressed by the city's public transportation system, which made it easy to navigate and explore different areas. I spent my days visiting museums, trying new foods, and shopping in the famous Oxford Street. But it wasn't just the tourist attractions that caught my attention. I was also struck by the city's multicultural atmosphere. I was able to experience different cultures and cuisines by visiting various neighborhoods such as Chinatown and Little India. After my trip, I couldn't stop thinking about London. I was really impressed by the city and all the opportunities it had to offer. I decided to investigate the possibility of living and working here. After researching, I found out that finding a job in London was a challenging task due to the high competition. However, I was determined and I kept looking for job opportunities. Eventually, I was offered a job and I decided to move to London with my family. It wasn't easy at first. Finding a place to live in London was a difficult task. The cost of living is relatively high, and we managed to settle in and we started to enjoy our new life in London. My family and I had to face many challenges, but we managed to overcome them, and we are happy to call London our home now. We are grateful for the opportunities that London. At the end of the video, I will give some advice to those who care about immigration and settling in London has to offer, and we are looking forward to making many more memories in this vibrant and diverse city. And do not forget, dear, my dear, to participate in the channel. Press the like button to receive everything new and benefit everyone. The weather in London during the winter months can be quite cold and damp, with temperatures typically ranging from around freezing to around 10 degrees Celsius, 50 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. It is also common to have rain or drizzle. It is important to dress warmly and be prepared for the weather if you plan on visiting or living in London during the winter. London is considered to be a major global city, and it has a strong economy. It is home to many international businesses, and it is considered to be one of the financial capitals of the world. There are many job opportunities in various fields such as finance, technology, and creative industries. The city also has a diverse population and a rich cultural scene, which makes it a great place to live and work. However, it's worth noting that the cost of living in London is relatively high compared to other cities in the UK, especially housing, and it can be challenging to find an affordable place to live. Also, public transportation is considered to be one of the most expensive in the world. It's important to take these factors into consideration when planning to live and work in London and to budget accordingly. Overall, London is a great place to live and work, but it's important to be prepared for the high cost of living, the weather and the crowds. I would recommend researching job opportunities and housing costs beforehand and to have a good plan for your finances in order to make the most of your time in London. London is a vibrant and diverse city that offers something for everyone. Here are a few tips to help make the most of your trip. Plan ahead. London is a large city with a lot to see and do, so it's a good idea to plan your itinerary before you arrive. This will help you make the most of your time and ensure that you don't miss any must-see attractions. Use public transportation. London has an extensive public transportation system, including the underground train, also known as the two buses and trains. This is the most efficient and cost-effective way to get around the city. Be prepared for crowds. London is a popular tourist destination and certain areas, such as Oxford Street and Buckingham Palace,
can get very crowded. Be prepared for this and try to avoid peak hours if possible. Take in the local culture. London is a melting pot of different cultures, and there are many neighborhoods, such as Chinatown and Little India, that offer a unique experience. Be sure to take the time to explore these areas and try the local food. Allow extra budget for things like food, shopping and other activities. London can be quite expensive, especially when it comes to eating out and shopping. Be sure to budget accordingly, and consider taking advantage of discounts and deals when possible. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. London has a lot to offer and some of the best experiences can be found by stepping out of your comfort zone and exploring areas you might not normally visit. Make use of London's parks. London is known for its many green spaces, such as Hyde Park, Regent's Park and St. James's Park, which are perfect for picnics, relaxing, and enjoying the scenery. By following these tips, you'll be sure to have an enjoyable and memorable trip to London. The United Kingdom does offer support and assistance to families with children. Child benefit is a financial support paid by the government to eligible families with children. It is paid to the main carer of the child, typically the mother, and it is meant to help with the costs of raising children. Additionally, there is the child tax credit which is a financial support paid to low-income families with children. It is provided to help with the costs of raising children. There is also the universal credit, which is a financial support for those who are on a low income or out of work, and it can help with the cost of living, housing, and child care. Families with children also have access to free health care through the National Health Service NHS, and free education through state-funded schools. It's worth noting that there are some eligibility criteria for these financial supports, and the system can be complex, so it would be best to research the options and check the eligibility criteria before applying. Additionally, there are also many private schools and childcare options available in London, but they can be expensive. Overall, the UK does provide support to families with children, but it's important to be aware of the different options and to carefully research what is available. It's also important to budget accordingly, as the cost of living in London is relatively high. In the end if you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to receive everything new stay in God's care and goodbye.